click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome to the subject of machine design 1. Till now we have studied the design aspects and different types of curved beams. We have solved few numerical based on their design aspects. Today we are starting with the second part of this module which is design of thick cylinders. Students, till now, in the subject of strength of materials, we have learned about the design or the calculation part of thin cylinders. We know that these two are different, technically different. So, today we are going to look at the technical aspects of design of thick cylinders and then we will be solving some numerical, some problem based on their design. So, let us start with thick cylinders. So, like we said, they are technically different and we need to know that. Fine. So that depends upon the thickness of the cylinder. Students, we know that all the all the circular shape things which have got some length and thickness fall under cylinders. So there are different applications that we go through. These cylinders can be used in terms of pipes. These cylinders can be used in terms of channels that carry different fluids and that is how we distinguish between them. So the important parameters are their diameters. This is outer diameter. This one becomes their inner diameter and this one becomes its length. So in this term definitely that thickness as it goes on increasing it becomes thick cylinder. Of course, but technically it is different uh, than the thin cylinder and that differentiation we are going to look at. So let us say this is merely a cylinder. No doubt that for thin and thick the parameters will look like the same. So difference is thin and thick. If you remember we had seen the consideration that in thin cylinders, in thin cylinders the radial stresses are negligible. So let us divide this particular diagram in three parts. Let us say some fluid is kept in this. Let us say some internal pressure is acting in this. So that pressure we will show like this internal pressure. Now let us elaborate it. When that pressure acts along the radial direction, let us say stress generates along the radial direction. So that particular stress is called as radial stress. Let us divide the circumference. The same problem will consider and we will divide into two parts, the upper part and lower part. So we will cut the cylinder in this manner and the upper part of course. When the stresses are built in walls in this manner, they are called hoop stresses and this third category when the cylinder is cut along its length. These are called longitudinal stresses. Sigma L. Hoop stresses are also called circumferential stresses. Sigma C. We know that these are the largest in their numbers. So in thin cylinders till now we have considered this and this for their design aspects. And we used to consider that radius, radial stresses were negligible as compared to remaining two. Of course, there were certain aspects of derivations which we had considered for uh, neglifying this. Now, in case of thick cylinders, that's the most important thing that radial stresses also come into picture. So, there is a consideration of radial stresses that's the very first important aspect. So, when I say it's thin cylinder, Radial stresses are not considered, but when it's a thick cylinder, radius, radial stresses are prominently considered. That's the first thing. Second thing, if you see this thick particular thing, we used to consider the variation used to be constant or there, there was no variation in case of thin cylinders as far as hoof stresses or circumferential stresses used to be concerned and the longitudinal stresses used to be concerned. But in case of thick cylinders, each and every kind of stress will be varying. 
and that vary along the thickness. So thickness is a very important parameter that we need to consider for these traces. So thickness is associated with variations, variations in stresses. So these are the major consideration, major differences between thick cylinders and thin cylinders. So how to distinguish and how to solve the problem of thick cylinders? There was a famous scientist, Lamis, who had defined the uh, theory for the analysis of thick cylinders. And the theory is known as Lamis equation of thick cylinders. In our syllabus, we are going to derive that theory, we are going to derive that equation and the same equation we are going to use for the analysis. So our next small part is derivation of Lemmy's equation. So thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we have just gone through the difference between the thick cylinders and thin cylinders. So that was the introduction part of the thick cylinders. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you. See you.